And here it is. It's time for another two-minute tech tip. Hi, I'm Bob Rubart with the Oracle Technology Network, bringing you another brief but valuable encounter with a member of the Oracle community. This tip was sent in by Eric Rands. Eric is a finance IT consultant with Finit Solutions in Wichita, Kansas, and he has considerable experience with Hyperion Financial Management. So let's drop the clock on Eric's tip and see what happens. And the clock starts... All right, so for today, I wanted to talk about on-demand rules in HFM. And on-demand rules came to us in version 11.1.2.2, patch 300. Uh, Oracle put out this new functionality that's really neat, and I hope uh, more and more people start to utilize. So what these rules do is allow us to run a subset of the calculations in the HFM rules file without running the full subcalculator consolidate routine. Uh, so these are processed from data forms in HFM and are very easy to set up and very easy to test and play around with. So all you have to do is go into your classic rules file or calc manager and create a new subroutine and call it subspace on demand underscore and then your rules name. Uh, once that's set, once your rules loaded or deployed in calc manager, you'll be able to run these rules from any data form in HFM. So in the data form designer, you'll come in and you'll see on-demand rules. Any rules you've created will be available there, and you can run one or many <coughs> rules from your data form. So this is where we can get techy and creative, right? We can take these rules and say, okay, um, maybe I want to run a specific allocation. I can have my user input some dollars in a data form. Uh, we check the little box uh, to run our on-demand rule, and that data is allocated amongst some business units, things like that. Another thing we might want to do with these rules is copy data from actuals to budget every month. Uh, right now, you might be using impact statuses, triggers, things like that. Uh, we could use an on-demand rule to make that easier. We could put our entities in the form, seconds. check the little box, and boom, the data is copied from actuals over to budget. In the same fashion, we could also clear data. Uh, you can even get really creative and use cell text, put in the account name typed in there, um, and your, your uh, account would be cleared for just that specific account. Uh, finally, you can process these rules with API. Uh, so if you have a third-party program and just want to run a subset of rules, uh, pass it off to your API, run the rule, and it's, uh, it's all done. Was that good for you? Let us know and stay tuned. <laughs>